This door's been here for about four years now. There's two types of cigars. There you have the, the standard daily cigars, which we don't carry. Then you have premium cigars. Premium cigars are made by well-known companies. They're all long-leaf tobacco, hand-rolled. There's no machine-made premium cigars. Uh, they're aged tobacco. I've got some cigars that's been aged anywhere from 12 years to eight years to four years. Most cigars come from, quality cigars come from Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. Uh, the best tobacco available right now is coming from Nicaragua. I'd say in the last three years, we've seen the percentage of women coming in for cigars rapidly increasing. They not only buy flavored cigars, but they're also buying regular cigars as well. The cigars, even though they look dry, they're not dry. They still have moisture in them. Cigar leaves have a certain amount of oil in them. And they need to be kept between 68, 70, 71 percent humidity. That way you get the maximum amount of flavor and the maximum amount of pleasure out of the cigar. Uh, some people will buy their cigars and go stick them in a refrigerator. That's a bad thing to do because a refrigerator is going to get more humid. The cigars are going to come apart. Uh, some people will buy their cigars and just leave them sitting on a desk. That's going to cause them to dry out, and once they dry out, there's no way to bring them back. Cigars is, is more or less a culture. Uh, cigarettes, everybody and their uncle can buy cigarettes and smoke cigarettes. Cigars is a what we call it a lifestyle. We have people that come in here, and we have a lounge and an open deck out back. They come in, they buy the cigars, they sit down, and they talk with each other, sit around, play dominoes, chat, watch television, read. It's a relaxation factor. It's an, a, it's an actual lifestyle. It's a companionship factor.